What's up, guys? It's Chris. Uh, welcome back to VHB Engines. <clears throat> this almost seems like, like a little bit too redundant, this, but this is kind of along the lines of what I shot up last night. This is kind of just me talking, expressing some thoughts. Uh, this isn't really covering too much of anything in particular, just, again, expressing thoughts. Uh, so, uh, hum Humble Performance dropped a fucking video earlier, the, like a quick guide on uh, all-wheel drive builds. And uh, what really made me start thinking, you know, because it's a, a lot of technical shit and it comes really fast at you. So it's one of those things you might have to watch multiple times. But even like uh, Kenny said in the video, it's uh, a lot of this stuff is, you know, really expensive, you know, supply and demand. It's really old stuff that people are using. And once people start to realize, oh, this is for use for all the drug conversions and people are trying to scramble to do it, fucking skyrocket the prices on everything. All right. So, uh... For me, I'm like, this is like, I'm sitting back and just watching because I already know it's coming. Uh, same thing like, uh, just like everything else before it. What I was, I mentioned, oh, I mentioned it with like with, with Luke and Four Pistons Racing. When I, very first time I, I talked about Four Pistons Racing in the video that I guess I'll link at the end. Uh, when they did their, was it 500 horsepower NAK24? Um... I was like, these are the guys I like to watch. You know, these are guys that like these are the pioneers of the industry, and I don't think I'll ever be one of those guys that pioneers anything new. But uh, I do. I think I can eventually be capable of matching what's out there. Sure. Do I think I'm gonna be the guy in the forefront, like leading the fucking charge? Nah, that's not my role. Uh, so I just, you know, I like to watch these people. Uh, these, like when I said with uh, Four Pistons, like these are the guys you want to watch. They go out there, they innovate, they make new shit, and then you fall in their footsteps. And, you know, now they got, now it's like, it seems like almost everybody in the industry has four pissing heads, and they're out there fucking slaughtering. I think, I, I, I think I feel pretty comfortable saying that everybody at World Cup Finals and shit, all the top fastest cars are all got 4P heads, if not full 4P long blocks. So, um, there's that. You know, these guys are out there doing big things, making these NA cars, like, fast as fucking four cylinders. Um, <clears throat> now the same thing goes back to what uh, what Kenny was saying that he mentioned uh, in the in the guide for his uh, for all the drive. He's like, just sit back and watch. For some of you guys that are budget minded, and I'm paraphrasing, you know, may maybe wait till next year because next year big things are happening. And that kind of you know touches on what I saw the other night. I watched uh, VTech Academy's uh, video, which I also plug in the description. Uh, they're talking about uh, let's you know a lot of people have been doing different things to make these uh, all-wheel drive cars. Let's take a look at what we have and see what we can do and see what we can make. So when Hasport has started looking at this shit, you know it's only a matter of time for that shit comes out mainstream. Now Hasport may be a little bit ex more expensive for everybody who's on the young side and maybe making closer to minimum wage, but you know Hasport is the first major step that will be in the normalizing this. Now I know I talked about all-wheel drive recently. I talked about hub city performance. But Hub City Performance still gathers a lot of their parts from what I understand from stock parts. Now, if uh, Hasport starts making it, they'll mass produce prefabricated parts. So you'll have a place where you can go to and buy that setup. And uh, that's great. That's what we're going to be waiting for. And then, you know, if Hasport starts making it, it's only a matter of time for the, the cheaper versions to start coming and then the pure knockoffs start to come. Eventually, as shit trickles down, it'll be the poorer man like, like me and probably you watching will be able to afford these things. Now, me personally, as far as the all-wheel drive craze goes, I'm not, that's not me. I'm not really worried about that. These guys are out there making records, you know, seven-second cars. I have no desire yet to tackle that. I'm just trying to produce... Five six hundred horsepower engines right now and do that on a regular, but of course, you know that takes time because it seems like I'm gonna have to do all these engines myself, put them in cars myself, and get out there because I just don't have the patience right now to deal with people who may not come through. I'm building engines for people who I'm just I, I don't know I don't have the energy to do the giveaway thing anymore to build and spend money for somebody who potentially won't even get the car up and running, and I, I don't even care about trying to advertise right now, especially you guys like what I said, mentioned last night. The, the market's fucking crashing for B-Series and D-Series. Like, it's hard. Now, if you're already in a pre-established shop and you're selling built engines, it's one thing. You can pretty much ask whatever you want and you're because you're a trusted brand already, people are going to buy. But for me, you know, I have a built short block that, you know, 800 bucks I think is a pretty good deal for that. And I, nobody's even blinked twice at it. I'm pretty sure I could drop that fucking engine block all the way down to 500 and still nobody would buy. So that's just uh, the market how it is right now is not the best in the world. So I guess more right now, I'm just, you know, focused on results. Um, 
getting my injector done, getting the RSX done, and, and whatever the fuck car I get that comes after that. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Just you know, just talk about the whole normalization of all-wheel drive, and uh, you know how this coincides with the the, the normalization of K series and the cheap, uh, you know, the, the fast price drop in the market for K series stuff becoming more readily available. So uh, if all-wheel drive is something you're interested in, you know, keep keep your ears close to the industry and the and the, and the grounds, man, because I think very soon we're going to be seeing mass-produced uh, all-wheel drive conversions, and um, I think uh, Honda's gonna make uh, another big huge splash in the scene next year. I mean, we've already got, I think it's like seven, seven second cars. Uh, imagine what it's gonna look like when these are mass produced. All right guys, uh, thanks for watching. Just quick thoughts on the, on the topic or whatnot. And just, you know, heads up on what's going on. I guess it's more of a kind of a newsy type thing that it redirects you. I'm gonna leave links to Humble, Humble Performance's video that they did and the one from VTech Academy. And um, I guess maybe the one I talked about earlier before. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And peace.